Over the past year or so, there have been a number of small die-cutting machines readily available. Here we're going to take a look at three of them and see how they compare. Firstly, Tattered Lace Baby Blue. You get the basic machine and die-cutting plates only. The prism from Sapphire also comes with an embossing mat but has slightly narrower plates. And lastly, the diamond press comes with one cutting folder and four dies. And that's it. Here's the rig I used to film it all. The first machine is the um, diamond press. It's anchored to the plate. I'll start off by using a new die folder with a, a diamond press die. So take the die, put it on the folder, slip the whole lot through the machine, put it in the slot, turn the handle. I do find that the sticker suction on this one isn't as good as the suction on the others and I always try to run them backwards and forwards through the machine and there we have it. Now using the same machine for embossing and again this is using a diamond press embossing folder. So just put the paper into the embossing folder, push it slightly, run it through the machine. The card I'm using is a general purpose card at, from the local stationery shop and I don't know whether you can see there are the butterflies. Trying the machine with an embossing um, die, I've got this one which is kind of a Tudor rose so there's lots of detail in there. Again putting the die into the folder, I do try to change about where I place the, the die and the paper and you can put the folder both ways so that wear on all the surfaces is somewhat even. This one doesn't like the position and I think it doesn't like the fact that the folder is inside out. So I'll try it the right way round and see what happens now. It's still not liking it. So I'll move it up the way, I'll cut it onto the other side of the folder and run it through. And it still doesn't like it, so I think that the die is too thick for the folder. I will try another die. This time it's a Spellbinders die. And it doesn't like it very much either. Try again. Well, it went through, it's cut it. It's cut it, but you can't really see any embossing on it. I do find that the folders on these get very, very worn 
and warped so eventually they won't go through. They do sometimes need a good hefty shove so you get what you pay for. The baby blue. I'll try this with, it didn't come supplied with any dyes so I'll try it with a tattered lace die so that I'm using the same die in the machine as I am to cut with. Starting with the A plate, placing the die on, placing the card on the die and again the B plate I am using both sides and trying to move about where I cut it. As you can see it's quite scarred. Running it two ways again and it's cut and now the baby blue doesn't come with an embossing folder or with an embossing mat but I have cheated and I bought an embossing mat and as you can see cut it down. So putting that through it now needs a B plate, the other B plate, the embossing mat and the other B plate running it through to emboss the die. And there you can see the small indentations around the edge, cutting and embossing. You can also just, you can see also not only the dots around the edge, but where the edge of the die has been. Using it with an embossing folder, again I'll try it with the same baby blue embossing folder. Putting in the card sandwiching it between the B plates and running it through the machine backwards and forwards and the butterflies have come out very nicely trying it with the more sophisticated embossing die. Again, starting with the A plate, putting the die on, and I'm trying to again move the die about where I put it on the plate. Near the edge is better. Taking my much used B plate and putting it on and running it through. And I've missed, so we'll try again. On the A plate, put it in the middle this time. With the scarred B plate, and running it through. Nice crack sound. So now, taking it off the A plate, putting it on the B plate, putting the embossing mat over and the other B plate running it through. It's come out cleanly enough. The pick, this is rather than a pokey tool these picks are about four for just under two pounds from DIY shops. And there you can see the embossing detail and all the little holes around the edge. So that's the Tattered Lace Baby Blue. It's a great little machine. And now for the prism. 
both the baby blue and the prism hold on to the base plate a lot firmer and that really is firm putting it down and trying the prism first of all with a spellbinder's die because the prism is made by spellbinders so starting with the base plate putting on the die putting on the card and using the cutting plate I've hardly used this machine so the cutting plate um, is very new and also it doesn't show marks as much now the first thing I've noticed with this is that it's very low geared so it takes less effort to put it through but you have to turn the handle a lot more times there's the die fingers crossed yes it looks as though it's cut cleanly it doesn't feel as though it has it is quite a complicated die compared to the other ones and my poker tool won't go through the very small holes I'll need to get a needle for that or a hat pin it has cut it out this is probably not how you meant to do it there's the result using it with the Tudor Rose to see what happens when we try embossing again base plate die paper cutting plate and run it through the machine replacing the cutting plate well it's come off with the rubber mat and the embossing plate they haven't done this before on this machine so let's see how it goes here it is using the pokey tool and again we've got very good detail on that comparing the two I think the detail on the spell on the spellbinders has come out better but it is using a spellbinders die so that's oh embossing now I had real difficulty with embossing on this machine taking the embossing folder and a piece of card I did try various combinations so base plate and embossing plate Well, no, it doesn't like it, and I don't want to strain the machine. Cutting plate probably won't work because, as you can see, it's thicker. I think the rubber mat will defeat the purpose of trying to do this. No. 
because nothing's happening. So I have tried various combinations of plates and this machine does not like embossing with embossing folders. I think that's it. A few comments. This one, okay but limited because it won't emboss and you do get the basic machine. I think my favourite is the baby blue. Probably this is the second. And again, lifting up and removing. The diamond press is my least favourite. It doesn't stick as well to the surface. It's got a very limited weight, width of slot. Um, it doesn't like more things. What it will do, it has its own range of embossing folders and I got a pack of 24 and discovered that a couple of those would not go through the machine. Um, you do have to keep replacing the cutting plates. This one I haven't used yet for the second time. What I did do with it, and this was the first, this was the one I got with the machine, I put it on a solid glass tempered surface with um, silicon paper or baking parchment and layered it uh, and then pressed it with an iron on two and let it go cold. So we'll give it a go and see what happens with it. Using the supplied die Putting it with the label side outwards because it doesn't like the other way. Yeah, it's stuck again. That frequently happens. It kind of gets stuck in the middle. And then it's a sort of force it through job to try and get it cut or take it back. It doesn't like it. <laughs> I think and on the... You get what you pay for. If you want something that's very simple to use but limited then go for the diamond press. You can get it for 15 quid so that's pretty good value and it will cut a fair amount of stuff. If you want to pay a little bit more the um, prism you can get from places for about 25 quid. If it was me, I'd look out for bargains for the baby blue. Um, there are the occasional ones. It's the much better machine. But when all's said and done, they're all great value. They all are fun to use. Bye. And lastly, here are my results. Ignore the diamond press flower. Apart from that, they all look both quite, or they both look quite similar, both the flowers and the embossing folders. Enjoy.